welcome. Welcome to your final resting place. <laughs> welcome to the party, pal. You're from the neighborhood Master Chaos. Back with you here, the Chaos Kids with me. Today we're gonna have some fun. Today we're gonna go on an epic, epic, epic Halloween store crawl. First, we're gonna check out this year-round Halloween store. Uh, little Master's in the, not in the shot there. There he is. We're gonna check out this epic Halloween store that's uh, year-round. Uh, we go there every once in a while when you need a little Halloween fix. So why don't you and I go in there now? Here we go. Lots of costumes. Yeah, it is quite busy today, which is fantastic. Yeah, they're doing, usually throughout the year, it's not, it's not that busy as you could imagine. Plenty of costumes. We're looking for, what are we looking for today? Like a witch thing. A Come witch costume, because you want to do a witch Minnie Mouse? Mouse? Yeah. Okay. So let's see if we can find it. Let's find the, oh, here's the kids section. Here we go, perfect. You could be a witch dog. It's Clifford. Clifford is scary. Sure. He's covered in blood. You know, now I'm regretting the Superman costume because I think I would have killed it Look as an Oompa me. Loompa. Look at this creepy little ghost girl. That's freaky. You want to take her home? <laughs> no. <laughs> we got a witch here. I wish yeah. we could find that for you and then you could you, know, you could just put Minnie Mouse ears, right? We got a little uh, guy here. Try me. What does he do? Oh, Blinky. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so we got the skeleton, bride and groom. We got an inflatable. What is this? Little master, do you see what that is? I think that's Samara. What? I think that's Samara. Really? From the ring. This guy's awesome. I think. Can we set him off? Oh, he doesn't. He's not on, but. He's got a kid in a cage. Amazing. Whoa, another creepy hallway. Hanging props. Wow, look at this one. That's weird. That is a creepy one. I've never seen anything like this. Kind of like the Phantom. Oh, that is really neat. All right, so we've decided on some costumes here. We've got the Stardust Witch for Missy Chaos. For my Minnie Mouse look. For your Minnie Mouse look. And then Little Master's going to go with Ninja. He's doing a... You know, Kansas City Mickey Mouse, but uh, he's also a ninja fan. And this one comes with, let me show them. This one comes with a bonus ninja figure. How cool is that? The second store we're going to be visiting today is Michael's. Michael's has a whole Day of the Dead section here, which is really great. We got like a little wooden sign. We got, uh, I don't know what, some kind of like artwork here you can draw. A little uh, wooden thing. Little statues for your desk. A couple's uh, Day of the Dead thing. That's really nice. They got this. This is actual glass too. We usually these are plastic. That's very pretty. How much does that go for? Six bucks, not a bad deal. And down here you got like a weird bowl in the shape of a cross. You got this tray. Isn't that a heavy tray. Oh, that's a nice plate. Oh, it's tin. How interesting. It's like a big old tin plate with, uh, with this design on it. That's and awesome. Nice, fluffy pillows, 30 bucks. This is a very strange pillow, but uh, there you go. Something else that caught my eye is this uh, make your own uh, little, uh, I don't know what you would call it, just a little thing. Make your own little uh, diorama, I guess. There's a pirate ship. There's a Via de los Muertos Plaza. They have them set up over here, look at this. Spooky Fun House, that's awesome. That's really, really awesome. That's a good fan, oh look. It's actually perfect for us. The Chaos Clan. Great. There's the Boo Bus. That'd be a fun project. Wow, this is epic. This is the Dia de los Muertos uh, Plaza. It's all foam, too. These are all foam characters, foam walls and things. It's probably really damn tricky, but I bet it'd be a fun, fun weekend activity. This is the countdown calendar, and this is uh, like a whiteboard. You can just draw the how many days to Halloween on that? That is a fun, fun idea. Good job, Michaels. We're done with Michaels. The third store we're gonna be visiting today is right over there. That is World Market. We haven't seen their Halloween stuff yet, so let us do so. I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of a disappointing year for Halloween items here at World Market. Uh, I don't know what this is, some kind of decoration. It's a margarita mix, which is here almost all the time. Uh, this is kind of neat though. I like this very vintagey little cake plate. And this little bowl, I actually might grab a little bowl. What'd you find? Eyeballs? Chocolate eyeballs? <laughs> it goes in there. The vintage bowls here. I might actually grab some of these. 
How much are they? Six bucks? I'm gonna actually grab that. And a lot of witchy kind of items. Well, there's one witchy item. I also saw this. That's really neat. And then there's only a couple things here. Little decorations. Nothing nothing out of this uh, out of this wall. Except for these really cool pop-up cards. You know, I don't know how many of you guys send uh, greeting cards Look. to people. Yeah, the horseman's cool. These are really nice pop-up Halloween cards, you know. Really nice. I don't really have a market for them, but uh, I like it. Oh, this is cool. Check this one out. Mad Scientist Lab. The Witches Gathering. Halloween pasta here. With little fun Halloween shapes. That's kind of fun. I did find this, and I'm so bummed I can't have this. Darkest of them all, black pumpkin oatmeal stout. Oh my god, that sounds so delicious. But it's got a ton of gluten and malt, which is gonna ruin my stomach. However, this gets me in the mood for uh, some uh, Glutenberg, the gluten-free beer. So why don't we head on over to stop number four, Total Wine. This is the place I go to to find anything I need alcoholic. Of course, they also carry gluten-free beer, which is something you don't find in a lot of stores in the area. So lucky, lucky for me, I can get some um, alcoholic beverages here that will not upset my tummy wummy. Let's go check out their Halloween setup. They usually do a good job. Whole bunch of ghouls are set up here. Celebrating a witching hour wine, I guess. Witching hour wine. A couple tombstones here as well, nice. Oh, this is new? This is a new setup? What's this one called? No, oh, I don't know. This is the new design for the Crystal Head Vodka, I love it. I don't know if it's like the Pride edition or something, but it's rainbow. That is really nice. Yeah, the Crystal Head bottle is an alcohol, but it's a vodka. But you know who makes it? One of the Ghostbusters. A little pumpkin guy enjoying the swings here. We've got a little uh, fall, fall flavored wines set up here. Love it, love it, look. Scarecrow, oh, creepy scarecrow here, oh wow. Pretty extensive beer section here. There's uh, seasonals and then the world beers. Lots to choose from here. Unfortunately, a lot of it, well, actually, all of it has malt and uh, wheat, things like that. We found the gluten free beer section. Uh, these are the ones I normally get. I normally get the, um, the Gutenberg Red, but I just saw that they have an IPA. I'm not a huge IPA what? guy. There's a, yeah, there's different ones. There's double and then there's a session. Um, I might get the session. I know this one's pretty strong. I know my buddy Danny Sinistalker loves IPAs. So I might get one just to grab and try the IPA. And I notice they have other kinds here. They have Daura from Barcelona. This one is from Mexico, I think. And it says Basque in the Moonlight with a decadent, rich, and malty stout. It's a stout that's gluten free. I might grab this. And then there's this from the Czech Republic, Celia. Dang, I didn't realize there were that many. Maybe I'll get one of these, and I definitely want to try one of these. I don't know if I'm gonna, I'll come back for the Czech one, but that's awesome. One thing I am gonna miss, of course, is all the pumpkin flavored ales and beers and all whatever pumpkin flavored things that unfortunately I cannot have, but maybe one day they'll do a gluten free one, right? One place that has really amazing things and we haven't checked out yet during uh, the Halloween season is Walgreens right behind me. This is stop number five. Let's go see what they've got for this year's Halloween offerings. Well, we're here. Looks like everything's been cleared out. All the Halloween stuff is gone. Dang, we missed, we missed the rush. Well, let's see what we can find. Oh, what's that book? Let's see, it's just a, it's just a decoration within this guy. Sort of a water, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I see, I see what he does. That's cool. What do we got? Cauldron. Yeah, like a witch's cauldron. Got some cups. Ah, oh, man, I'm so bummed. We missed, we missed the, uh, all the goodies. I heard there was like, some really neat collectibles here that I wanted to grab. I, I heard there was a Reagan toy here. There was, yeah. And she like danced around, but. I think it's all gone. Now they've got like, I don't know what, what this is. is. Does he squish out? Maybe? Yeah, it pops out. That's kind of fun. Stress toy. Look at this guy. Uh, uh, what is he supposed to do? Candles. Nightmare. Oh, these are nice. These are heavy too. Whoa. 
The clouds have gotten nice and spooky above me, sort of perfect for the Halloween season. Of course, any uh, Halloween store crawl would not be complete without a visit to Walmart. I haven't been here in a while, but I'm still looking for the uh, Chucky inflatable. So fingers crossed, we'll find it today. It looks like they got some Halloween favorites here on offer. You know, nothing says Halloween like Wonder Woman, Footloose, Shazam. Just one little Halloween offering here, trick or treat. Middle age can be murder. Oh gosh, this sounds awful. Who's in it? Uh, huh? I don't know any of these people. There's a new flickering LED lantern. They didn't have these guys before. I like it. Put them up on the wall like wall sconces. Gives the effect of an old uh, gas lamp, maybe from uh, uh, New Orleans or something like that. I like that. I like that a lot. The inflatables were here, but now this is all Halloween buckets. However, speaking of inflatables, look what they've done. They've given Christmas an entire giant section here. Wow, look at this. Freaking Santa swimming. This guy, he's fishing, I mean. <laughs> uh, Christmas tree farm. Big old Santa Slayer one. Crazy, man. It's not even, it's not even November. But uh, Halloween is still alive and Christmas will have it today. We'll be back to check all this out later. Well, we certainly have to go visit Target while we uh, wrap up all the Halloween stores here. Can't forget Target. The dollar and three dollar section has gotten rid of all the Halloween doodads and it's just candy here and that's honestly the only reason I'm here grabbing my Halloween candy today, tonight I should say. Uh, but there's nothing else here in terms of Halloween-ness, you know, no little... Oh, okay, well there's a couple things, just got the little ghoulish, by the way, quick review. Ghoulish Gumballs by Double Bubble. These gums are hard as shit. They're like concrete gum. I can't be the only one who loves these little kid Halloween books. I love them. They just make me so happy. It's just so, so happy. It reminds me of my childhood. It reminds me of the joy and purity of what really Halloween means and what it, you know, means for kids. I think when my kids get older, you know, I'm still gonna read these. Just as an FYI, the seventh Tremors movie is out and it's really good. It's um, available in a seven pack for $30 here at Target, only on DVD apparently. It's got all seven movies in there. So um, if you're so inclined this Halloween season to watch something creepy and fun, highly recommend it. Halloween candies, buy one, get one 25% off. I'm not gonna go crazy this year, but since the kids can't go trick or treating, of course, uh, we have to supplement in some way because I still want them to have their Halloween candy. And you know, that's kind of what makes me an awesome dad and Mrs. Chaos an awesome mom. First grab here is Lollipop Rings by O oh Poop. You never heard of them, I'm guessing they're a, they're a shitty new company. Uh, 20 decorated lollipop rings, orange, grape, green apple, and vanilla cream. This looks amazing, it goes for uh, six bucks. Good deal for 20 little ring pops. This is the classic variety pack, of course, the Child's Play 3.5 pound bag. It's got uh, all kinds of tootsies in here and dots. Who remembers the Child's Play bags? These are great, except for the fact that every candy in here is kind of crap. Beyond the standard monster cereals here that we all know and love, there's a whole schlemiel of new ones. We've got uh, these spooky Fruit Loops here with a werewolf version of Toucan Sam. That looks amazing. And spooky marshmallow chocolate frosted flakes. Uh, unfortunately, can't be eating those, but dang, those look delish. I don't know what happened. Did I miss the Halloween apocalypse? Because the aisles are clean. Are they seriously moving it out so fast for Christmas? Oh my God. Look at this. What happened? Oh man. Well, I'm glad I came today. 
Just forget it coming like closer to Halloween when you would want maybe, oh, let me grab a couple last minute Halloween things. There's nothing left. Jesus. Wow, they work fast here. My God. Oh, I'm gonna grab a couple of these uh, Ziploc bags. Why not? These are all collectible for me. I can use them throughout uh, the coming months and remember the holiday. Let's check down here. Yeah, all the cool props are gone. Jeez. Did it sell out or did they just kind of pull them? What the hell is this? A monkey? Oh, yeah, it's like a gorilla skeleton. Crazy. Okay, well, these guys are here. Well, yeah, at least these guys are here, but Jesus. Look at that. I already see it. I already see it. Halloween stuff is gone just so that Christmas can take over. Last stop of the day is Spirit Halloween. I know we were just here, but uh, I figured since we're doing a roundup of all the stores checking out their Halloween goodies, uh, it sort of behooves us to go to the ultimate Halloween store uh, before it closes in a few days. And uh, then we bask in the glory of Halloween discounts. Boy, I'm gonna miss this place when it's gone, but uh, I'm gonna enjoy it while it's here. Whoa. Missy Chaos had to return home. She had homework to do, but uh, we're on the uh, costume hunt for her. The uh, costume we got at the, uh, the year-round Halloween store was a little too small, so luckily we hadn't paid for it yet, and we had to return it. But uh, we're uh, we're on the hunt now in Spirit Halloween for a witchy costume, something she can combo with, uh, you know, uh, the, the Minnie Mouse ears. It's probably not in the Fortnite section. Yep. So for those of you who have been watching for a while, you know that uh, Little Master here is a big Purge fan, right? <laughs> so what, what, and he's what he wants to start collecting the masks. Yeah. So which one are we thinking of getting? I feel like I, I want to get like one gold and one boy. So I feel like I want to like, get that one. The Kiss Me Kimmy? And, then... and the George Washington? Yeah, and those are great. They're $25, so we're going to wait for the discount sale, obviously, after Halloween sale. And these are nice, by the way, in case you're wondering. They're like hard plastic masks. They're not like, like, this is like a, well, this is a little hard. But you know how some of those masks are kind of like a soft plastic? These look like really sturdy, like collector pieces we can hang on the wall, right? Oh, yeah, and this is sturdy. Yeah, these are all pretty, yeah, these are all pretty hard. Really realistic blinking on this one. Creepy. Yes. Incidentally, we uh, found the witch section here for uh, tweens, you know, <laughs> I guess it's the best way to describe it and we've decided on this. I, uh, I called up Missy Chaos, interrupted her, her homework and asked her if she'd like the Charmed Witch. Not a bad price, you know, 27 bucks and it, um, it's a little big so, you know, she can wear it for a couple years, which is always nice and it's a Charmed Witch. I think we got her costume, so mission accomplished here. There's some epic new tombstones here. I don't remember seeing this uh, ghostly bunch here. And then there's this giant 36 inch gold candle tombstone. Really beautiful, really. I mean, how big is this? Hold on. Here, stand next to that. I wanna see how big it is. So, no, no, don't hunch down. Just stand on with, look, it's, he's about 42. No, he's, he's about 44, 46. So yeah, that's very big, very big. How much? How much I is this sucker? <laughs> 25 bucks. Well, it's not too bad, but it's a little big. The ultimate badass weapon right here. This is, of course, a chainsaw sword. Hell yeah, they gotta put this in a movie. Well, pal, that'll do. I hope you enjoyed uh, running around to eight different stores with me and Little Master and Missy Chaos as we took in all the Halloween goodness. Um, uh, stay tuned for more Halloween content. Uh, as of the recording of this video, we have seven days left. That, of course, means seven days left to get to 500 subscribers as well. So I'm excited. It's up to you. I hope you will subscribe and uh, join the Master Chaos crew. For now, my friend, I bid you adieu. I hope this video has found you happy, healthy, and well. I love you. Remember that. Please take care of yourself and remember to take care of each other. It's a crazy world. And we need to be kind. We need to be kind, especially now more than ever. So, my friend, remember, your friendly neighborhood, Master Chaos, loves you and remains to be continued.